Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be transforming my master suite into a cozy, delicious place to get warm during the holidays and this cold season that's coming. I'm gonna be transforming our master with a fireplace and all kinds of perfect little touches for fall. And then we're gonna head into the kitchen and do what I do every single year for back to school. I get my HelloFresh out, girl. You guys know I love these meal kits. They're amazing. I'm gonna share with you all the things, but I mean, who wants to start the season without Sloppy Joe? I don't know. So we're gonna be doing that and so much more. Let's jump right into this video. Who you really are, yeah. Don't need you here to say you're sorry. So here's what we're working with today. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but my room gets so crowded it takes like one week and i get everything organized and then i don't know if it's just having the kids in here or just being a family of four but it gets so crowded and i just feel like when i wake up everything is so stressful for me i want to definitely move that out of here i'm going to move it into my bathroom it's like my least favorite thing to look at when i wake up in the morning <laughs> is all the makeup and i've been working from here from time to time so I really just wanna clean that up. I'm gonna get all new sheets today. I went ahead and ordered some brand new sheets. I'm gonna wash these while we're building our new fireplace for in here. I wanna make this room super cozy for fall. I ordered a brand new um, mattress cover that's like super soft, and I'll kinda of show you how I build um, our bed to be super plush and luxury. But I ordered two different types of sheets. I did a bamboo sheet set. I got a brand new duvet cover. And then I did another, this is kind of like a um, really beautiful silk. This is nice. It's like almost like an Egyptian cotton slash silk. It's really soft. I'm gonna let you know, I'll link everything down below and let you know which one I end up loving most. But we're gonna be adding those. I also ordered some bins. I'm gonna be organizing a lot of my makeup back into the bathroom because I really don't want it in here anymore. And then I ordered, or I picked up these cashmere uh, quilt blankets as and this really thick um, kind of rust colored one from Target. I talked about that in one of my fall hauls, but I wanna get that on this bed. I'm gonna double up on this duvet cover just to make it really soft. And then I'm going to be moving all of that away and putting a fireplace here. I may also be removing all of this. And then I wanna make it nice and cozy here with the fireplace and a nice mantle. And then I may also add a little bit of fall decor here and up here, but I really am gonna take down most of this stuff and just really get it nice and cozy. I hope you guys enjoy, let's get started. Cause if you're gonna leave me then just do So to get started, I'd like to remove everything from this table, get it put back into the caddy, the things I don't need every single day, and then I'm gonna actually be moving this into one of our bathrooms. It's our master bathroom, but it's not inside our bedroom because you guys know I live in an 1891 Victorian and it's kind of a quagmire of a space, but we love it and I am just so happy to be here. But So to get started, I'm gonna remove all of this. I'm gonna push this into the other room and deal with it later. I did not include that in this video because it was super boring, but I wanna kind of get everything put back where it used to be in this space and then I want to really focus on building the fireplace and putting in some beautiful warm quiet parts to this room where I can actually quiet my mind at night right now I am so overwhelmed at work so overwhelmed with all the things the kids going back to school that I'm really trying to simplify the world around me so that I can really be present in the moment and this is a perfect way to get started So typically this time of year, I always double stuff my bed, which I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but I thought, what else could I do to make this space really cozy? I've always wanted to put a fireplace in here and I absolutely love the fireplace we got during Christmas downstairs. So I ended up going on uh, Wayfair and picking up another one and I cannot wait to show you how it turns out. I am also going to be using a power tool for this. Now I wanna use a disclaimer here that this is actually my drill. It says mom on the side of it and I absolutely love this. It's what my husband gave me for Christmas 
Christmas last year, and then I went ahead and picked up all my own uh, little that little caddy that has all the different implements that you can use to um, drill and do whatever you need to do. But I absolutely love it, and I highly recommend getting your own. That way, you don't have to wait for somebody to come around to help you drill things or put together your own fake fireplace, girl. Like you got to have your own stuff. So. I'm gonna be drilling this. I, it came with some random tool. You know that hideous L-shaped tool that comes in the kit? Yeah, I'm not, I don't have time for that. So I ended up drilling mine. It works out perfect, and I really, really can't wait for you guys to see how it turns out. Like an 18-minute thriller movie mm -hmm. I always knew you always meant it But now we're standing on Side too. Oh, I never meant to hurt you, but I heard you so sorry for that. Now you need space again. Okay, so now this is my favorite part. I love to double stuff my bed every single year around this time. And basically, I don't know if you guys have ever been into like a pottery barn or a Williams Sonoma, but or maybe like a crate and barrel, I don't know. But you notice how like in all the magazines they send to the house, like their beds look giant and super like plush. Well, I know the trick and it's using two duvets inside one duvet cover to make it look super soft. Now I don't just do that, I also like to put down a second pad on the bed. I always have this little three inch, it's Lucid is the brand, although I've been using this brand for a long time. Um, I get it on Amazon and I like it because it's good quality, it holds up and it also um, is really not expensive. I'll link it down below if I can still find it. I don't know if it's still around, but if it is like, shout out to them because I love their stuff. And what I like to do is I like to use this pad and then I'm gonna be putting over another pad to kind of make it nice and uh, tight. And then I'll be using our new sheets. Now I use both sets of sheets by the time that I'm doing this voiceover and I have to tell you, the set that I'm gonna link down below is so good. Like so, so, so insane good. It's the one that's kind of like the Egyptian cotton. It's like, I think 1600 count. Well, I don't even know what that means, but it's good. It's 1600% for me, girl. I loved it. So I'm going to link all of this below um, and I'll share with you kind of uh, some of the other little things I just put in here. But to begin, I really like to just get everything nice and plush and cozy before I start to layer on my sheets and my pillows and then our two comforters, which just feel like my bed is giving me a hug. I can't wait to show it to you. Tell me in the comments down below, do you guys do this to your bed? Is this strange that I have like a ceremonial fall bed making process? Or do you two also kind of try to transform your bed into a really cozy place during the winter? I love once you get everything nice and tight, how wonderful and soft. This feels like an absolute cloud. I wish you could all feel how good this is, but of course I will link everything down below. So if you wanna try this at home, you absolutely can. Our bed is a California King. So it's a little bit larger than a standard bed. And it's also an antique. We found it on Bonhams, which I'll link down below. They have very cool auctions of some really amazing antiquities that aren't super expensive. So I'll definitely link that down below. You guys ask me all the time where we find find our stuff and a lot of times it's from Michon's or Bonhams which are both auction houses. I know it sounds like it's expensive but it's basically like going to a thrift store but like high-end antiques that aren't expensive. So definitely check those out. I'll link them down below. So now that we have our sheets on here and everything is so nice and tight, we're going to start to double stuff our duvet cover. So what I like to do is I like to put one of our duvets inside the cover and most duvet covers, especially the one I'm gonna link down below, has one of those ties on them. All of mine have that. It helps so as you move around and we've got four kids jumping on the bed that the duvet doesn't slide to the bottom of the cover. And then once I have that ready, I'm gonna pull the duvet cover up and I'm gonna stuff in the second one and tie it as well. 
once you have that done, you kind of want to fluff them and marry the two uh, duvets so that it gets really solid. I like when there's not lots of like bumps and wrinkles on the bed and I will uh, stuff that inside. I have two, this is mine from last year. I think this is actually my third year using these, but what I do is I keep those little plastic things. I just tuck it in from last year and then bring it out every time around fall. I wanted to take a second and introduce myself in case you're new here to my channel. I'm really new to YouTube, so it's very possible that you haven't seen my channel yet, but my name is Lauren and I'm a mom of four kids and we have a family of six living here in Northern California. And I really started my channel just to share some fun homemaking tips on cooking. I love to cook. I love to cook pretty unique things and I love decorating. It is my absolute love language. It's just the way I keep my home. And I also like to share a little bit of organizational tips with you on how to keep a large family um, kind of organized and kept together. I am working full time and so this is an absolute hobby for me. So I would be completely honored if you would subscribe to my channel and tell me down below if you are new so we can get to know each other a little better. So now that I have the bed nice and tucked in, I'm going to be adding this new blanket I got from the Casa Luna line at Target. I don't know if you guys have heard of this line, but I really like it. It feels silky on top, but it also has a much light, this particular blanket, I should say, is a lot lighter. The other one I'm gonna be using is very, very heavy and weighted. So if you're looking for a weighted blanket, just go with the second one. But if you're looking for something light, since I double stuffed our duvets, I definitely don't need any more blankets on here. So I wanted to add something very soft, but also could bring in that cozy fall vibe. I'm gonna be adding a couple pillow covers here. And I also wanted to share with you guys my absolute favorite pillow. I literally wasn't even gonna talk about this, but it's just so good I wanted to share it with you. So we have um, this pillow that we actually fight about among all the kids and my husband, but it's called the Sleep and Glow. I saw it on Instagram and I completely fell in love. It has these little indentations on the side. So when I sleep on it, my face isn't kind of getting smushed and you know, girl, I gotta look out for those wrinkles. I love this. It's got this memory foam and it's just so soft. And this um, pillowcase that it comes with, it feels like silk and it's like literally my go-to favorite sleeping pillow. So if you're looking for something to kind of not get wrinkled while you're sleeping or whatever it's supposed to do. It's just like magic. I highly recommend that. So I'm going to get all my pillows put on the bed here. I also have some throw pillows I'm going to be adding in a bit. And here is the other blanket. So the um, one side of it, it kind of has this very soft cotton little canvas feel to it, but the inside feels like absolute silk. It's so amazing. And I love this rust color for fall. I have to say this might be the most exciting part of this video, except when I went downstairs in a little bit and realized that my HelloFresh was there, but I wanted to decorate this so badly and I love how this turns out. I just add, added this simple little gather sign I picked up at HomeGoods and then I'm gonna add some more of those little picks that I got from Target. I've linked in a lot of my fall videos and I've got some nice fall music playing and it just feels so cozy in here. I love it so much. I also found this adorable pumpkin that says cuddle weather and and I love the kind of white and black monochromatic vibe that's going on in here. Again, I'm trying to keep this space nice and quiet so that I can kind of reduce stress right now as we are going into the end of the year. And I just kind of want to keep the stress level down. So I want to add a little candle in here. I actually go a little crazy with the candles. Uh, even my husband was like, this is a little much, but whatever, he doesn't know. He doesn't know luxury, okay? I do, we need to have 100 candles. So I'm gonna add some twinkle lights here to make it kind of feel like really whimsical and sweet. And I just really love how this is gonna look at the end. 
So the one thing I really wanted to add to this room, actually was the impetus to me even doing this, was to create something that would be positive versus getting in bed and always having my computer, always having my phone, always having a screen. I just wanted something simple to remind me, you gotta slow down and allow your mind to be creative. As you guys know, my YouTube channel is really a creative outlet for me, so I wanted to add a couple of these really wonderful fall magazines that I never have time to read, and a nice candle to kind of warm the space up. What's nice about this is I also have my remote control to the fireplace here, and I can just put it down on the set tea at the bottom of my bed if I need it. If you guys don't already know, we foster a ton of cats, and this is for Ruth. Chio. He's one of two that we rescued and he's just such a love for some odd reason. Nobody wanted to uh, adopt him because he's a black cat and he must give off some Zachary Banks vibes because people didn't want to adopt him. So we kept him and he is just the freaking cutest thing ever and shame on all those people who didn't love his witchy vibes. Okay, I also want to add some wonderful warm clothes for my husband. I love this vintage. It's kind of like a, a jacket wrap but I love how beautiful this turns out. It kind of just warms this corner up, but also gives him some warm uh, items that he can put on during the winter. He is in the vineyard most of the time and doesn't wear nice stuff like this, but when he's selling wine, he definitely spruces things up. So I'm gonna add a cute little pocket square and just get it ready for him. The other thing I wanted to do is add uh, a little kind of space between the windows and the room here. You guys know usually I have these pulled off to the sides, but instead I kind of wanted to create a more linear look. So I'm gonna actually pull these all the way to the left and the right, and I'm not gonna be pulling them back. And I really like how it turned out. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. I never knew how much I needed you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I had to try it. I had to give it a try. I actually <laughs> love how this turned out, but I kept seeing this on Instagram and I thought, well, I've got the stuff for it. I have the garland, let's try it out. So I'm gonna be adding this Target garland over the bed with these little twinkle lights. Now, I know it kind of looks weird during the day, but at night, this casts the most beautiful, warm, color on the bed and in our room, it absolutely sets a tone that is unlike anything I've ever felt and I just love it. I ended up cleaning off my husband's little area over here and just adding a nice uh, bowl with some picks in it and these wonderful Costaluna smells. Oh my God, these smell so good. I don't know if you guys have tried them. They're in the bedroom section at Target. Definitely check them out. I also have this same candle here. It just smells so good, it smells like heaven. So I'm gonna light all of these up and get my room nice and stinky. And I'm gonna light this fire and kind of show you guys how it all turned out. I have to tell you, we have been living in this room now for a couple days and it has been a complete 180. I come into my room, I have the lights down low, I have my fire going, I have some nice calm jazz music, I have all my candles going, I've been able to read, I've been able to hang out with my kids in a really calm way with no screens, more so than I've ever been able to do. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys think it turned out. I did a lot of bad things, and never did I give Cause the thought of being vulnerable made me feel less than I am. I have never felt home till you entered my door. And from that moment, I knew that a home is whatever you choose. 
love this. I'm so excited to have shared this with you guys today. I cannot wait to see what you guys think about this cozy room and what you guys think about the double stuffed bed and if you're going to try it, definitely tell me how it turns out. So while this was all going down, I heard a knock at the door but didn't realize it was my HelloFresh, which is the perfect timing because we are back to school, it's the middle of the week, and I don't want to have to think about dinners every day. You guys know I love to cook, but I don't always want to have to be creative, and I don't just cook basic stuff. I really like to cook a lot of good stuff. So this is one of the reasons I love HelloFresh. I've worked with many different companies over the years. I just wanted to try something different, so I went back to HelloFresh, and I cannot wait to share with you what's in this box. So one of the reasons that I really love this is they always have really great different recipes. I thought what a perfect way to start back to school with this old school sloppy joe. You guys, when is the last time you had sloppy joe? I think it may be at least 20 years since I had it. This definitely takes the cake. This is one of the best recipes of sloppy joe I've ever had. I don't know about you, but figuring out dinner during a busy week can be so stressful for me. So I love that HelloFresh offers meals that are ready in less than 30 minutes. Plus. I save on groceries and I don't have to go to the store to make a great meal. I would have never thought to make Sloppy Joe, but when I went on their website and I picked the three dishes that I get for our family, I saw it and I immediately knew this is what we were going to be having. The other thing I love about HelloFresh is I can order it for four, which you guys know I have three smaller kids, but my oldest son is 10 and he will eat a full meal. The other ones, yeah, I don't know if they're always going to eat that much, but it's a perfect amount of food for our family, which I really like because it's a great solution midway through the week. I don't even have to think about three out of seven meals. This is awesome and I love it. So I'm not sure if you guys follow me on Instagram, but if you do, you guys know that I absolutely love doing my kids' lunches. I do bento boxes, I do all kinds of fun things. I try to not ever do sandwiches, and I didn't know this, but when I logged into HelloFresh, did you guys know that they have no fuss lunches? They have this marketplace, and you can do any type of preference that your child likes for lunches. You can do leftovers, like that's the other thing I love about this dish is I can do leftovers for the kids, but you can increase your HelloFresh box size so that you can easily make more food for your kids for the next day. They also have tasty extras you can pack for on the go like sandwiches, fruit, snacks. They have salad kits. They have easy prep stuff. I just I love this and I also have been ordering stuff for myself for lunch because I've been so busy. I almost forget to eat during the days. I think that HelloFresh offers so many different cool stuff. Definitely check out their website and see what you guys have been missing. 
So as you can see, this was literally the easiest meal of all time. It took me a total of 20 minutes. I was able to add the pork with the red onion and that wonderful mix that you add to sloppy joe, which is basically like a barbecue sauce, some ketchup, and then there was also a little um, cornstarch that you add just to kind of thicken it up and make it extra good. And then I'm gonna just toast some of our buns here. I've got our potato slices in the oven. It looks so good. I love it. It also came with the Chipotle ranch. Oh my God, you guys next level so good basically you take ranch and you add a little bit of uh, chipotle seasoning to it you know if it was me doing it i would probably add fresh chipotle but the kids would hate it but it's so good so i'm going to add this to a plate and it's really really easy i'm going to also be adding some onions they gave me this great recipe where you put a little bit of sugar with the onion and then you actually microwave it for 30 seconds this was next level i think i'm going to prep my onions like this every time from now on if you were interested in getting up to 14 free meals, including free shipping on your first box of HelloFresh, which I highly recommend, why don't you go ahead and use my code LaurenNicholson14. I absolutely love this company and thank you so much for sponsoring this video. And if you are looking for some easy meals for your family, for yourself, and for anybody, definitely check out HelloFresh. Thank you so much for watching this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.